Well, we've got some breaking news on the Supreme Court decision on the anti-discrimination ordinance. Live in the newsroom with the latest. Kylie, what happened? Hey, good morning. We just got this in the last few minutes ago. This is a 110 pages. Uh, we have learned that the state Supreme Court ruled in favor of those artists. Uh, four justices offering the uh, opinion, three justices uh, consenting to this. Uh, one justice writing that the city cannot force them to create wedding invites for same sex couples. Now, many people think uh, that this is the most controversial case that the state Supreme Court has heard in quite some time since Governor Doug Ducey experienced expanded the court from five to seven justices several years ago. So the case centers around two Christian artists who own Brush and Nib, a home studio in Phoenix where they make some wedding invites and custom stationery. The artist challenged Phoenix's non-discrimination ordinance, saying that it violated their freedom of speech and religion and forces them to create art for same-sex couples and weddings. The city of Phoenix said, though, you can't pick and choose who you want to serve. Arizona law bars uh, discrimination by businesses, but doesn't include protection for sexual orientation. So the city of Phoenix says their ordinance really aims to fill in that gap. So two lower courts rejected the argument made by the artists. But again, we're just getting word that the state Supreme Court now ruling in favor of the artists. So a big decision coming down just within the last few minutes. I can tell you that Phoenix Mayor Kate Gallego is about to hold a press conference. We're going to take you there live in about 15 minutes to get the mayor's reaction. The artists are also going to be speaking out the ones involved in this at the center of it all. Uh, they're going to be talking to the media at noon, guys, so this is definitely a case that we're going to be following closely. But again, a big decision by the state Supreme Court ruling in favor of the artist saying that they have the right to be able to refuse a service to say, hey, I do not want to uh, create these wedding invites for same-sex couples. So we'll be on this story with more coming up at 1030.